Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. And welcome to the Uncensored Mikey Pipes channel. I'm trying to make it my daily vlog of just my life professionally with a little bit of entertainment twist. This morning I'm heading on a estimate in East Rockaway. Gentleman is a YouTube subscriber. He loves my content. He goes, Mikey Pipes, only you are going to convert me from oil to gas. And I'm like, who else would you hire? So I don't know what's going to happen during this uh, interaction, but I'm going to try to film it, most of it, at least if I can, and show you how I interact on presenting options when I have to replace a boiler. All right? All I know, it's oil to gas conversion. He's got gas in the house. So let's get going. But before I get there, I um, just want to give you guys a quick little update on my... Well, the, the goal of buying AMRAD run capacitors. I was able to secure, I was able to secure them. And there's something like, I don't know, I think there's like 43 different sizes. And I'm getting from 30 over five to like 80, 10, one of each, um, each size. And then the single run capacitors from five to like 80. Um, I think there's like 43 different ones. If you guys want to buy a full run, a full run, one of each size, um, you're looking, if you want to buy, you're looking around 950 bucks, right? And, you know, plus shipping. Now, that's a lot of capacitors, 43, but you get one of each size. If you're looking for a special size, listen, I'm, I'm, it's not cost effective to me to take my time and sell you one capacitor, you know, for, you know, 26 bucks, you know, when it cost me 24 99 you know, it was also tax and shit like that, but um, I can get you a full run, roughly around 900 bucks, shoot, shoot me an email if you're interested, Mike at MikeyPipes.com, uh, but I was able to get them from a distributor uh, outside of New York, because no one's got them in New York, but they're awesome, and what's really great about them, because I actually have one right here, hold on, let me show you, I got one right here in my hand, here's a box, right, this is a 45.5. Let me show you this, guys. Take a look. See? AMRAD. See that terminal right there? CPT. Compressor Protection Terminal. Only AMRAD makes them. And if you have a hard start on uh, your compressor, you take one wire, right, from common, that would normally be on common, and you put it on the CPT terminal. And what's really nice about this, look at this. You actually have a sticker with the rating of it. What it was tested at at the factory. That is effing epic. Fucking awesome. I love it. So, all my Titans, except the HDs, I'm going to throw them on, on, up on eBay, give them away. And, um, yeah, I invested, you know, I bought 10 of each and I spent $11,000. 10 of each capacitor. I think there's 43 different sizes. Singles and duels, all 374.40s, and then it's $11,000 with tax. So if you want to run, it's like 900 bucks, something like that. Maybe it's, yeah, oh, no, I'm sorry. If a full run is 1100 $1, bucks, sorry. But if you're interested, interested in a certain size, if you want to buy multiples, you know, let's uh, make something happen. I want to promote a great product. And no, they are not, not a sponsor of the channel. All right, so with all that being said, guys, let's get to this estimate video. Good morning. Hey, Mike. How are you, sir? Fucking kill me with this morning shit. I forgot about you. Girl. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You know, the, the pain ones take priority. I just put him upstairs. He's good. He's a good boy. But he's, he can. He does, he's, he's, he's a little over two years old. He's just big. You know, he'll meet you and everything. 
But when you go walking into the house, because he's protecting he'll, he'll bite your ankle He'll off. nip your ass. He, oh. just, he, he will go <laughs> like that. And you're like, what the fuck? Let's say hi. Yeah, well, got him and we got an English bulldog. Nice. And you got a hot tub. Yeah. With the little roof over it. Well, that's because my grandma. We'll go out there in the but when it I rains, own the it's house. better. I own the house. Me and my wife live in the basement. My, <laughs> my daughter. I push you out of the house into the basement. My daughter, son in law, two grandkids up here. Right, they're, they're young. They're young. Uh, she's what? 18 months. He's, Baby. He's uh, You're proud going grandpa. on six months. So, house is old. It's 100 years old. Old bones. Oh, yeah. And you want to convert from oil oh, to gas? The boys were over here. Oh yeah. Yeah. They did the hot water here. Then. Oh, cool. Well, thank you very much. All right. All right. Lead the way. We're going in there. Sandy head. Yeah. Four Had feet of water. Even here, huh? The water. We were out here. Water came up the street. Filled up the block, went, went away, up into the backyards. Then the water came in here. Rough. Yeah. They Rough. had it emptied in half an hour. Really? Yeah, but yeah. damage already done at that point. Well, the thing's jigged because I didn't have time to do anything. This is the room. All right. So you got a gas water heater ready. That's all right. That's that's like four or five Home Depot years special. Old. And that hit on, that. the old one went on Christmas Eve. The old oil boiler, a Thatcher. Oh, it's a Burnham Jubilee. Is it a Thatcher? It's a Thatcher. Thatcher, okay. From 1830, 1850. This house originally had warm air. Really? I found the ductwork. Oh, wow. Old ductwork. And someone probably 80 years ago put this in. Yeah, it probably had just the, the furnace, oil furnace, a coal furnace yeah. sitting in the basement with a, well, with had, a vent on top. That. No, we had the plate at my parents' house in the floor. And you prayed. Yeah. What do you want to put in? You got four zones? Yep. I have four zones. One, One zone two, here. This three, is the back four. porch. Okay. I did this 25 years ago when this shit first came out. Yeah. Yeah, remember the old school, uh, the pecs with the uh, the rings, and compression rings. It was easier for me. I do want to put in copper. Where? Copper lines. To where? It goes from here. You want? Why well, you want to take it out? I just figured maybe the half inch size. Would be three nice. quarter would have been better, but to run to run copper is expensive. Huh. You know, you can do three quarter pecs. You know, uh, pecs. Uh, I feel better with the three quarter. Better, better flow. You know, I see a lot of these row houses in, you know, Far Rockaway where they just mass produce houses. Yeah. And they got half inch pecs, you know, going to these zones. I'm like, and they're complaining when it's cold out. Like, yeah, yeah but blame it on the builder. Yeah. You have yeah. restriction of flow. How do you run 150 exactly. feet exactly. Of, of, of piping with baseboard? Yeah. Baseboard's three quarter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Come on, how do you run that? Yeah. Well, you know? it's, it's not, it, I'll, I will have this clean. I would hope so. <laughs> and uh, not for nothing, I watched one of your videos one time. Okay. And I just did this. That's not really doing much on a, in a vertical position. Like dude, that. I had no choice. I wasn't going to fucking do anything over here. Trying yeah. to get. I don't. <laughs> this tridicator. Yeah. <laughs> uh, isn't right. You might look at that and make 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 me uh, take a shit on you. Yeah, you know, because <laughs> this thing. Hold on. Here we go. The old gate valve started fucking leaking. Yep. When I, it was leaking before I came back home here from Florida. Okay. So I just don't, don't, I go. All right, you got, you got creative. Because I'm. Um, compression valve. I'm getting rid of it. And the compression coupling. Yeah. Union, technically. Yeah. A couple of circs. Yeah, good. You're zoning with circs already. Yeah. Where is your relay? Oh, man. Old line voltage thermostats? No, I got, um. Oh, okay. I got some thermostat wire here. But where's your zone relay? Oh, here's, here's one. Relay. Oh, here's another two. one. And here's the one relay. One, two, three, That's the triple. four. All right. So what do you want to put in? Uh, I, I'm really, like, in between. 
if we put in a regular boiler in, yes, I, I really want to like bring the piping and the circulators up, you know, like do them nice on the walls and connections. Yeah, like I normally do it. Exactly, and I, I I don't I don't like this. It's a lot. It's taking up a lot of space. Yes, I agree. What I would do now, let's talk about just okay. We want to do a traditional cast iron boiler. Let's say we put in like a a Well McLean CGA four or five, whatever you need. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a small, compact mm -hmm. unit. That's why I like them better because especially if you need more space. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about wall hungs in a sec. But uh, number one, we have to have a stainless steel liner. All right, so we'll bring a chimney company in. They'll put a liner down. UL listed. You take care of that. With we can coordinate liner? with you, but okay. I would recommend if you you'll pay them directly. Yeah. Right, but we'll coordinate with you, yeah. with them, and they put a stainless steel liner down down the chimney. Mm -hmm. If you don't already have one, which you probably don't. No. Um, and the boiler would be up up against this wall, literally. Like the oh, footprint would not would see how that water here is like yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Right there, I would put it there. But I need room to get that out. Is yeah, yeah you, have the, you have plenty of room there. You think so? Yeah, because you get rid of the, you, that shelf right there. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll yeah, slide I'll take out. That down. Yeah. That's yeah. just something I put up for extra. Place. So let's say we do that and we line it up. You know, I do a four zone pre built manifold for the supply, for the return. Mm -hmm. Cirques on the supply side, pumping, you know, away. Yeah. Um, all that, make it look nice. You know, yeah. some threaded rods, some kind off, you know, to support everything. Yeah. It'd be nice. You know, we have a lot. Yeah, you have a lot of copper here, a lot of zones, but that's going to eat into you know the cost. But yeah. at least you know everything will be running across the ceiling and down to each zone. Yeah, that's what I want. Do it the right way I, I, is I, I nice. Want it not, I, I, I hate the spider web. It, it's really. Let's see if I can get a a good view from over here. And unfortunately, it's a hot water feed. Look at this. Always been a hot water feed. Wow. All right, so, so we're going to tap in and we're going to... So we're taking hot water from, from the boiler, or from the water here, which is fine. You, you know, cold is, is cheaper. I'd rather have, I want yeah. cold than I just... Yep. I would literally, I would put the boiler right here. Like, let's do it. Uh, just, let's say this is the boiler. Right? Right against the floor right there. Mm -hmm. We come up. I could, theoretically, maybe if you want to, if you really want them on the wall here... You know, we could bring up the piping, bring up the bring up the uh, the manifold, bring it here, mm -hmm. have your supply, have your return, and have everything nice and pretty. Again, it's going to take a lot of time to do that, but it'll look nice. It's not going to affect operation or performance, yeah. but no, it's gonna, no, no, it'll no, look no, nice. No. And you know what? You're going to gain back a significant portion and the main portion of this uh, mechanical room. Okay. You know, workshop. I, I just I just want to... Literally, high, you're going to have high, all of this. High, all of this high, you'll get. I am cool, everything. I just... You guys would be taken care of. Okay, to just give you an option. So if we go with a traditional cast iron boiler, like Wayne McLean CGA4, CGA5, we'll do a final load calculation when you need to measure the baseboard and things mm -hmm. like that. You're gonna get back all the space, yeah. right? Service, listen, it still needs to be service. I know. Uh, it says in the manual every year by qualified, you know, uh, a qualified heating professional. I'm a retired oil burner mechanic. <laughs> right? With the, the condensing wall hung, you gotta, you gotta service it. So let's talk about the, uh, just a price difference real quick. If I do a condensing boil on the wall, no chimney liner. No chimney liner. Oh, yeah, I know. Direct, the direct vents, right? We take fresh air, yeah. combustion air from outside. Yeah. Two we do lines. direct vent outside, two lines. Uh -huh. Have a nice day. So you're going to save that possible maybe $1,500, $2,000 expense. Maybe more, maybe $1,000. Depends. But you get rid of that. But you have the annual maintenance. So keep that in mind. As far as brand... There's a lot of them out there. You know, there's one that I don't install anymore. You know, I refer, oh, to, yeah. I refer uh, to them no. as Death Box Incorporated. Death Box, yes. <laughs> I don't say their name anymore. Yeah. Kind of the deal uh -huh. I have with them. It's all good. You know, I respect, you know, let them do what they do and I'll do what I do. Uh -huh. So for players out there, money's no object, Bosch. Yeah. You know what? Uh, another good rated one, Lock and Ball. I, if you see, you saw some of the videos, I put in four of them, 50% failure rate out of the box. Really? Yeah. Lock and bar? Yeah. I had a hot water yeah. tank here for 22 fucking years. <laughs> so they were great. I did four, four lock and bar noble fire two commies. Mm -hmm. One, first one ever, uh, internal circulator, dead out of the box. Listen, but no problem. Wallace Ennis, the local uh, yeah, rep. Yeah, I know, I know that. Delivered it to me that day. Yeah. We did another one. I was fine, my neighbor. Four out, five houses away. Fine, no problems. We did another one, also my neighbor, further down the block. 
we're done. Two o'clock. Hmm. Now keep in keep in mind it was full oil to gas conversion. Hmm. The boiler we relocated the location of the boiler from one room to another. Mm -hmm. Ran gas piping a separate day. Mm -hmm. uh, I think three zones. It was done by two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Fire it up. I see a small little water drip coming from the unit. I'm like, what the fuck really? is this, right? What the fuck? Uh, Take new. the cover off. Rip off, rip off some of the, the you know the nice insulation off there, which you know you take apart and it comes out. But at the weld on the heat exchanger, small like small pinhole leak, uh, small pinhole leak. And I'm like, motherfucker, yeah, sure. right? Call up Wallace Ennis, get the guy Mike Knapp on the phone. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mike, you're not gonna believe this. Like, hold on, I'll call you back. <laughs> Calls back 20 minutes later. Uh, like, after I'm sending him pictures and video, I'm like, this is not good, yeah. bro. Yeah. But again, Wall Sennis also came through, and by eight o'clock that night, the, we took the old one off the wall, we put the new one back on the wall, mm. and guess what? We turn it on, water's pouring from the machine. Oh my God. They, the circulator I told you about, yeah. they took from brand new machine stock from their inventory a few months prior, yeah. and they put the machine off to the side, they gave me that machine with the, with the stripped circulator. Oh, and no shit. <laughs> so I had to go shit. back, Got, yeah. Ten o'clock at night, it got done. Yeah, but and they they never paid me. They never reimbursed me. They're, they're going to give me like a five hundred bucks or two hundred bucks. They never gave me a dick. Yeah. So it's it's like a sour taste in my mouth. I, listen, I think the product is great. It has a nice interface, you know, user interface, the the, the uh, display on there. Mm -hmm. It's very very nice, but made in America. But I'm like owned by A.O. Smith, which I happen mm -hmm. to like as a water heater manufacturer. But and I would have I would put it in again. I would. I think it's a great machine. Yeah. Last but not least, Burnham. I now, saw that one. I now that. this is where it gets a little, a little like uh, That's what interesting of selection, right? Yeah. Sandy came ten years ago. Yeah. These Death Box Incorporators were just on the market. Never put one in during that time, but yeah. other other people did. Mm -hmm. What I and a lot of customers listen. You know, my basement got flooded. Four feet of water is like here, right? I want one something on the wall. Burnham, Alpine. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal boiler. It is a workhorse. Literally, I I'm not suggesting people do this. You put it on the wall and you never look at it again. Yeah, it's literally that plug and play. Not plug and play. It's that. It's just a workhorse. And the Bosch is the same way. Ten years later, yeah, the thing's like on its last leg, but you can rebuild it. Yeah. The, the burn Alpine. You take the thing apart. The heat exchange is designed to come apart. You clean it. You put it back together. Replace some gaskets. You know what? Half day labor of half a day of labor later. You know, maybe several hundred dollars worth of parts. It's basically brand new. Yeah. I put in dozens of them. Hmm. Listen, they had three, three like control board failures over like ten years. Mm -hmm. A couple gas valves, some other nonsense. You know, sensors, temperature sensors, high limit things, things like that. But it's a reliable machine. But it comes with a premium. Mm -hmm. You know that Bosch. I mean, that's right, that Bosch. That Burnham Alpine versus Bosch versus a Bosch. It's more money than the Bosch. The is. Alpine? I thought you you said I thought you said the Alpine was cheaper than the Bosch. No, Alpine's more. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? The, the, the direct cost in a crate, and I don't usually talk about numbers of you know people can look this stuff up though. In the box crate, four thousand dollars. Yeah. A Bosch, three. Death Box Incorporated, twenty one. Right. Yeah. So if you're gonna go wall hung. That's the one to go with. The Alpine? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's the one to go with. I'm shocked. I'm shocked yeah, that you're Google saying it. this. Google it. So look at SupplyHouse.com. And you can't yeah. even get anywhere. But look at SupplyHouse.com. Yeah. A, a Alpine ALP 105. 4K. Maybe more than that. Maybe 4400 now. Yeah. Plus tax. Yeah. All right. And I buy it with tax. You know, I pay tax. Yeah, and course. then you don't pay tax. So you're not taxed twice, you know, yeah. by the uh <laughs> Yeah. Because I'm, I'm I, I, I'll, I'll be quite honest with you. I really want them. Wall. Okay, so you know what? We put it on the wall here. Now it, it's it has a deep profile. It, we because yeah. of the cinder block wall here, I would That's really. The fireplace and everything. The chimney uh, fire. You know what? Maybe we put on that back wall back there. That back wall. Okay. Put it on that back wall. We, you know, throw some two by fours for furring strips I there. Mean, we throw a piece of piece of plywood there. We oh, paint not it. on this wall. That's. It's nah, you know what? I'd wall. like to. If you, this wall? This one where the fishing poles are on, yeah. that, that comes off. Yeah, but that back wall yeah. would be better. 
because now you walk into this room, you have all this space, right? It's behind the water, and if I need to service it, it's right in then, front of me. And you can run. If, you know, if I put it on, on the, the left, the right wall there, now my back is against the water here. Yeah. And all the connections are on the left side, so I can't even put it against the corner on the right wall. I gotta, I gotta put it on that back wall. Okay, that's yeah. where you put it. Put it on the back wall there. All my zoning is to the left, mm -hmm. all there behind the water. You got plenty of room. You got about two feet there, two and a half, three feet yeah. between the water heater and that front foundation wall. Yeah. You put it there, it would look, as I say, tits. Yeah. It would. I, 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 re I really want a wall hung. Okay. Yeah. Then you need to. And, you know, the other reason, too, would be in case anything in case happened, flooding, nothing's yeah. on the floor. I want everything up. Uh, the other thing is the uh, the little uh, wow, I can't even think the uh, little condensate pump. Yep, that, that, that sits on the we, floor. I, I get that, <laughs> but uh, without pumping that out, that go outside. So it 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 really can't. Now I've seen a way where you get for freeze protection. Yeah, I've seen a way where I saw it in Queens. You know this guy, Daniel Tang? He's one of my YouTube subscribers. Mm -hmm. He's on my WhatsApp group chat. He's very active. And he's a, he's a very, very smart guy. But around the corner from him, uh, the customer has a death box machine on the wall. Yeah. And I'm there for service. And of course, it got condemned yeah. by, by them. And the condensate, very, very interesting. They ran it up in half-inch pecs from the pump. You know, they, they yeah, yeah, pushed yeah. with a bushing, whatever, right. fitting. And then they made this contraption with inch and a half PVC as a discharge. So you have inch and a half PVC going out with an elbow, pointing right. down, and a little bit of pitch, so it drains outside. So you have a lot of surface area inside the, the piping where so it's, it won't freeze. It, it's, it, it's gonna freeze, but at least it'll go. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it's really, really that cold out. You know, it will eventually, the entire thing seize up and freeze up, but it may. Mm. But it, realistically, it needs to drain into an inside drain line. Okay, because the drain lines are on the, on other, the other side, side of the basement. Every, but I, I had, there's a sump pump over here, you know, for the basement. Yep. There's, you know, and uh, probably tap into over there and that. Yeah, one. but we have to get from point A to point B. You have a drop yeah, ceiling there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, a, 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 listen, a big expense here is, you know, listen, you want to clean up all the piping. There's, there's, there's time involved in that. There's a lot of material. Yeah. You want, and only in copper. And I do near boil pipe. I would not replace all this <laughs> copper, all this copper with, with X. From the movie. Yeah. I only use copper. Copper. All right? But we, listen, we use the, the, the pro press. So it's all, you know, solderless, you know, you know, pressed fittings. And it's expensive. I'm but it's, solder, man. I'm still you want to solder, man? I'm going to spend no, literally no, no, a no, day no, here. No, oh, I know. I know. I'm just and you're gonna spend thousands I, of dollars more. I, 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 I get it. I, I get my. So your big expense me. here, if you, if you do wall, we're going to do. I gotta bring the gas piping in here from the other side of the house. Yeah. Right. That's, and that's and, on that. And making it making it nice and pretty. Yeah. Right. That's, I'm not just gonna throw it together. Listen, I can clean this no, up and not spend so you, much time doing it. I know it, what you can. You gotta do. clean it up. Yeah. Like no. you have these forty fives here. You know what? Forget about this forty five. Let's bust open the entire ceiling wall here. You clean it up. Whatever. We always forty five comes out. And we run them up in the in the in the in the, um, the floor joists from the yeah. floor above. They look nice. Or we can you know put no, kids off here, a, unit strut, you, and bring it over. And oh. I would just go level. I don't, yep, we could do that. And it'll look nice. It will. It really will. But yeah. one thing to your benefit, listen. If you can do it before before the fall, so we can take this thing out in one day yeah. and prepare for the other for the next day or whenever that day that is, because you don't need heat right now. You yeah. have a separate water heater. Yeah. It's good, you know, but you have a lot of work here. Oh yeah, I know. A lot of work. Six, eight hundred dollars. When? What was it? This past winter. Six, eight hundred dollars for one hundred fifty gallons. Yeah. And how long was that last year? About a month. Uh, yeah. Every month, I I haven't. Damn. Called. My son-in-law checks the tank. Uh, when it gets down to a quarter of a tank. And so one hundred fifty gallons gets it buys you a month, and it's about at most eight hundred bucks. Yeah. Now, what do you think your gas bill is going to be like? I know it's going to be cheap. <laughs> it's, it's, it's What's your gas cheap. bill now? Thirty bucks, fifty bucks over here? Yeah. 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 So let's say, let's say realistically, I don't know, maybe you keep your heat at like maybe seventy or sixty-eight, something like that. Seventy-two. Who knows, right? But no, really, they like it cold. I like it hot. Okay. Right? Well, you have to zone the basement. You're good. Yeah. You're insulated by the earth. Yeah. And, but but right? but in the basement, I only have that on sixty-eight. But realistically, you put in you put in like a, a condensing system down there. I'm gonna guess maybe in the winter, 
maybe 150 bucks. Mm. Maybe maybe one, 180, 190 at most. Yeah. I, I'll see you crack at 200 bucks. Yeah. I don't. No. They, they, my, my, my daughter, she's hot all the time. It's 68. And that's, is that a cold star or is that maintain boiler? Uh, that's maintain. Oh. But you keep it off in, in the summertime. Yeah. When no leaks. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I had an investment property uh, before, before Sandy. I was like, you know what? Turn the boiler off. <laughs> Will McLean? Yeah. Oh, no, they oh. all fucking leak. <laughs> That's why I'm like, when you talk to Will McLean, to me, I'm like, but... I had to buy class, the new... Uh, what, 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 the refractory? Inserts. I had to get a whole new refractory inside, inside yeah. the, the uh, combustion chamber. Yeah. It to kill the nozzle, the gun. Mm -hmm. I replaced the burner itself. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and it cost me 1200 bucks. Yeah. But it was a good solid boiler. It had yeah. domestic coil. Mm -hmm. The thing was like, I don't know, 45 years old. Yeah, you know, old Whale McLean with the blue jacket. You know, from the night or like yeah. mid nineteen seventies. All the uh, but uh, don't turn them six, off. Six six six. <laughs> you don't That's turn them right. off. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a great solid workhorse. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thank God I sold that house right before uh, uh, the pandemic, you know, yeah. before uh, quarantine. Yeah. Literally right before quarantine, like the, a week before. Really? Yeah. It was funny because when we, we were social distancing at the law at the law office. <laughs> By the way, with no really? masks, with no masks, but one person walking between all of us. We we were in Florida <laughs> when we when. Uh, oh, Landon DeSantis. We found. I love that. guy. I love that guy too. Oh, we're big time Trumps. I got the uh, Trump clock there. God bless Donald Trump. Okay, God bless him. I can't wait till he comes back. Uh, when we were down there, we had when we left, we were on vacation. We came back. We found the house. We go. Okay, great. All right, we got to go home and get papers, you know, paperwork and everything yeah. and for buying it. And it's, as you know, down there, there's no fucking lawyers. It's a title company. Yep, yep, yep. Which is great. And yeah. the, the other owner pays for everything. <laughs> it's so, a different world down in Florida, I'm telling you. When we left. And the tax is very simple. Yeah. One percent or two? What is it? One percent? I pay two hundred bucks. <laughs> I don't even pay for my I think you all know how that went down. Burnham Alpine. That's what we're putting in. It's going to be tits. Tits! Like I said, it's a proven workhorse. And it's going to look fucking tits. We're doing it next month. So stick around for the uh, for the video and the install. I'm going to break it up over two days. One day for removal, cleaning up the boiler room, prepping. Maybe mount the boiler on the wall. And then one day of piping it all in. Going to be epic. Epic, I tell you. Epic! All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in those AMRAD caps, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Listen, I'm not making anything on this. You know, I just want to promote what you guys showed me is the best in the HVAC world for run capacitors. Amazing, five year warranty. Really, really nice, nice caps. And made in America! Oh, I love that. Love it! Love it when things are manufactured in our great country. All right, God bless America. And be well, God bless. Stay safe, catch you on the next one. Smash that subscribe button and do it now.